Hello, I'm Jonathan Dunsky, author of The Adam Lapide Mysteries. On this channel, I talk about crime fiction that I read and enjoyed. And today I'd like to tell you about a classic short story from 1947 called The Nine Mile Walk by Harry Kemmelman. Harry Kemmelman was a crime fiction author who later in his career gained fame and success with a series of novels featuring a rabbi called Rabbi Small. And the novels, I believe there were more than 10 of them, uh, sort of revolved around the life of this rabbi in the Jewish community and various uh, interactions inside this community and around the synagogue that the, that the rabbi manages. But before he wrote the Rabbi Small series, Kimmelman wrote and published a number of short stories, the most well-known of which is The Nine Mile Walk. And it features a character called Nicky Welt, who's a professor of English and literature, who solves crimes using logic. You can find The Nine Mile Walk and other Nicky Welt stories in a short story collection that is available on Amazon and other uh, online bookstores. And I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can find a copy of this book. But you can also read The Nine Mile Walk freely on the internet. It's available on a number of websites. So let me tell you a bit about the story and why it's considered a classic and why you should read it. So the story features two characters, the unnamed narrator and Professor Nicky Welt. And the story begins when the unnamed uh, narrator talks about or reflects upon uh, a speech that he gave the night before in which he made various logical inferences which turned out to be false despite their them being logical and he is then uh, sort of accosted by Professor Nicky Welt who berates him for making that sort of mistake in his speech and then Nicky Welt uh, offers the narrator a challenge in, in which he says you know, give me a sentence that's 10 to 12 uh, words long and I'll make a series of logical inferences based on that uh, based on that sentence and despite them being logical they will turn out to be false so he will sort of create a story which is entirely logical based on the sentence but which will have no basis in fact. So the narrator gives him the following sentence a nine mile walk is no joke especially in the rain. And this fits the criteria of the sentence that uh, Nicky Welt asked for. And now he has to make a series of logical inferences and sort of get to the bottom of the sentence, what it means about the person who said it, and so on and so forth. And throughout the, the, the short story, this is what happens through a dialogue between the narrator and Nicky Welt. And of course, this being a crime story, the series of logical inferences lead to a rather dramatic conclusion. Now, why is this story a classic and why you should read it? Well, there are two reasons. First of all, the, 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 the story is completely original, unique, and rather special. I haven't read anything like it. Just a story based on a, on a dialogue between two characters and just using logic completely and, and solely to get to the bottom or to even uh, expose the mystery and get to the bottom of it. And it's all done fairly quickly. The, the story is rather short. You can probably read it in, in 10 minutes or so. And so the first reason you should read it is that it's simply a marvelous piece of writing and a, a marvelous piece of crime fiction. And it's the second reason is that it's an example of how you can take a completely original idea, something that seems like it could not give birth to a, to a complete story, and see it unfold into exactly that. So, as a writer myself, I found that um, both inspiring and impressive that the author could take you know, this sentence about a nine-mile walk and turn it into a complete and satisfying and rather impressive short story. So I recommend you checking out The Nine Mile Walk. If you're a fan of crime fiction, you should definitely read it. 
Um, as I said, I, I'll leave a link in the description below to uh, where you can find a copy of all of the collection of the Nikki Wild stories. So let me know in the comments if you ever read any of Harry Kemmelman's work, whether the Rabbi Small stories or one of his other uh, writings. And if you enjoy the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. You'll get notified when I post new reviews. So thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.